Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PRCA Southeast Asia Awards. I'm Francis Ingham, the Global Director General of the PRCA, recording this from London, because we're doing it virtually this year. It's more important than ever during these difficult times we celebrate PR's success over the past 12 months, and this is our opportunity to do just that. And next year, when we'll be doing this in Singapore live, we'll be able to celebrate the fantastic work being carried out right now in saving lives, changing lives and fighting this pandemic. I'd like to thank our judges for all of their hard work in assessing who wins tonight and to thank you all and congratulate you all for being finalists. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, MCG & Co, Binumi Pro, PR Newswire, Prospect, Karma Asia and YouGov. These events can't take place without your support. And now I'll pass it over to your host for the evening, Caroline Eddy, Managing Director of Milk & Honey PR Australia, to announce the winners. Good luck and enjoy the evening. As we're all aware, the PR and communications industry is at the forefront of groundbreaking campaigns. Having an international body that ensures the highest standards and drives excellence across the world is fantastic. Award ceremonies bring the best of the best together in one room. It's an opportunity to look back on incredible campaigns, to feel proud and celebrate each other's achievements. While we might not all be in the same room this year, these awards feel more important than ever. Before we begin, some words of advice. Some of the categories will have both a consultancy winner and an in-house winner. But those who have been highly commended will be listed at the end of the video, so do stay with us. Now it's time to get on with the awards. We'll start off with the best corporate financial and investor relations campaign. The winner is Precious Communications, establishing UTRIP as Southeast Asia's best multi-currency card. Our second category is the best corporate social responsibility campaign. This winning campaign was said to be an impressive and very worthy campaign. And the award goes to Midas PR, the Green Roof Project. On to our next category, Best Health and Wellbeing Campaign. The winner is Weber Shamwick Singapore, Standard Chartered Singapore Marathon. Next up is the Best Digital and New Media Campaign. Presenting this award is Alex Hughes, co-founder of Banumi Pro. Banumi Pro is delighted and very proud to be a sponsor of these awards for the consultancy and in-house categories. The consultancy winner is Weber Shandwick Singapore. The brand starts here with Walter, Lou and L. And the in-house winner for the best digital and new media campaign is AKA Asia Heineken Fuels F1 Love. Congratulations to both winners. On to the Best Influencer Relations campaign. And the consultancy winner is Current Global for Sport 18. The in-house winner is Accor Asia Pacific for hashtag Instacore. Our sixth category is the Best Media Relations campaign. Announcing the winners is Richard Moylan, Regional Sales Director at PR Newswire. The in-house winner for Best Media Relations campaign goes to the Hilton Asia Pacific. Launch of the Waldorf Astoria, Maldives, Ether Fushi. Congratulations. The consultancy winner for Best Media Relations campaign goes to Allison Partners, making every second count with TikTok. Congratulations. The next award category is the Employee Engagement Award. Presenting this award is co-founder of Prospect, Emma Dale. And the consultancy winner is AKA Asia, Man Your Life Power Up. And the in-house winner is Freeport, Indonesia, hashtag Sapuair, leading a revolution to reduce Indonesia's plastic waste from the remote highlands of Papua.
now for the Consumer Award High Budget. Presenting this award is YouGov's Head of Omnibus, Jake Gammon. YouGov are proud to sponsor the High Budget Consumer Awards. We're so happy to see so many campaigns that have moved the needle on Brand Index, our daily brand tracking campaign over the year. And the consultancy winner is AKA Asia with Tiger, born in Singapore. And the in-house winner is, AKA Asia with Impossible Foods. Congratulations. Next up is the Consumer Award Low Budget. And the winner is Archetype, the National Institute of Early Childhood Development, inspiring mid-career professionals to become early childhood educators. The best not-for-profit and charity campaign. This award goes to Paper and Page for hashtag US Pulses, super clean, super food. Our 11th award of the night is best business to business campaign. And the winner is Omnicom PR Group, driving conversations on the future of healthcare. Now we move on to the purpose award. The judges said the winner was very creative in promoting a taboo topic with excellent results. The winner is AKA Asia for Manulife Stop the Drama. Next up is the Measurement and Evaluation Award. To announce the winner is Vivian Van, Marketing APAC at Karma Asia. The winner is Current Global, Spot 18. On to the best technology campaign. This award goes to the Hoffman Agency Asia Pacific. The Crisis and Issues Management Award. Taking home this award is Edelman Malaysia, Telecom Malaysia, Unify, Unify Second Chance. Now onto the best multi-country campaign, Southeast Asia. Presenting this award is Calm Asia's Managing Director, Andrew Nichols. And the winner is Allison and Partners, making every second count with TikTok. Now we move on to the individual award categories, starting with the Young Communicator of the Year. Now this was an extremely close call. The judges said this individual is obviously an entrepreneurial talent and should feel very assured of his place in the industry as a future leader. He has demonstrated a focus on the right things, especially his own people, creating a proposition that many with the same level of experience wouldn't have been brave enough to. And the winner is Oliver Budgen of Bud Communications. The PR Leader of the Year. Announcing the winners is Justin Maguire, Global CEO and MD of MCG & Co. Hi, this is Justin from MCG & Co. I'm absolutely delighted to be giving away the award for PR Leader of the Year. And the winner of the award is Muswin Zin. Now, next up, the team award categories. First up is Workplace Champion. This award goes to Rice Communications. Our 20th award is the New Consultancy Award. The winner is GCI Health. Next up, is the Medium Consultancy Award. Taking home this award for their second year is Precious Communications. Large Consultancy Award. The winning consultancy has been commended for its growth momentum and retainer retention. Presenting the award is Justin Maguire, Global CEO and MD of MCG & Co. Hi, this is Justin from MCG & Co. I'm absolutely delighted to be sponsoring the Large Consultancy of the Year Award, which this year goes to AKA Asia. Congratulations.
Now we move on to our final category, the Outstanding Contribution Award. This award has been decided by our judging panel alone. It is handed to one individual who the panel believes deserves recognition for their tremendous work and overall contribution to the PR and communications profession. And the Outstanding Contribution Award goes to Kate O'Shea, founding partner of AKA Asia. Well, that's it for the PRCA Southeast Asia Awards for 2020. Thank you to all the sponsors, to everyone that entered, and of course, congratulations to all of tonight's winners. It's been an honor to host, especially in the times we are living in. As we continue to navigate COVID-19, the compassion seen across our industry has been incredible. 2020 won't be a year we will ever forget but tonight has been a timely reminder of the strength in our community and the importance of authentic PR and communication.